Hello, dear patients. Today we are going to review the case of white spots on glands penis and reddening of urethra. A man came to us quite a long time ago. He had white spots appeared on glands penis and around the urethra. You can see this picture. He went to the dermatoveneurologic dispensary at the place of living and he was set a diagnosis of sclerotrophic lichen and he was hospitalized to the dermatoveneurologic institution and there penicillin was injected. He had been there for quite a long time, about 20 days, and after them no effect was noted. Apart from penicillin, he was prescribed vascular medications in the form of tablets and he did not get any other treatment. Quite recently his urethra reddened. Earlier, apart from the spots, he noted such complaints as presence of paresthesia, each burning in the area of these white spots, and quite recently his urethra reddened. There appeared an itch inside the urethra, and we see white focuses that come close to urethral orifice and they surround it. On the picture we also see reddening of urethra. In such cases it is necessary to first of all take analysis for sexually transmitted infections, culture test for bacteria, smear test for flora and inflammation. As a result of that, ureoplasma ureoliticum was found in the patient in 10 to 6 power concentration. After that, a culture test for ureoplasma was taken. Leukocytes were 15 to 20 in visual field. The patient also noted mucopurulent discharges in the morning, sometimes they were not noted. He had no constant sexual partner, from time to time he had casual sexual contacts. The last one was about 2-3 months ago. First thing that has to be done in such cases is a full-scale treatment, in our case of ureoplasma. Why? Because first of all there is a high concentration of ureoplasma, and secondly there is a reddening of urethra, and there are leukocytes in urethra, which indicates an inflammation of urethra, urethritis, in our case induced by ureoplasma, and possibly sclerotrophic lichen was a provoking factor. Possibly this ureoplasma would not induce such inflammation in other patients. However, there is no need to argue here, as in this particular patient there is both reddening and leukocytosis, as well as ureoplasma in high concentration. So antibiotics were prescribed according to sensitivity, installations of longidaza were prescribed. That is a classic treatment of ureoplasma. You can watch a separate theoretical video about it on our channel. After that, on seventh day of treatment, this reddening completely disappeared. Globally, this treatment did not influence sclerotrophic lichen much, and it shouldn't influence it. After treatment of ureoplasma and after taking control analysis when the reddening of urethra completely disappeared, the patient was diagnosed for sclerotrophic lichen. Normally, it should include investigation for Borrelium burgdorferi or for Borreliosis. Normally, it should also include, include thyroid gland hormones as such patients often have autoimmune diseases of thyroid gland. This is proven by foreign literature. Also, for such patients, culture tests should be done, particularly if there is a deposit on gland's penis. The gland's penis should not be washed and candida should be checked for, as well as for bacteria that can induce such provoking moment as a provocation of this sclerotrophic lichen. Blood test for allergy should also be done. Indeed, in some cases, antibodies to epidermis, etc. are observed in such patients. This is more scientific stuff. For such patients, antibiotics of penicillin group never help, but a specific treatment of sclerotrophic lichen helps. You can watch a separate video about it on our channel. So, on one and the same penis there may be a combination of different diseases, as in our case, and in some cases they are treated separately, not crossing with each other particularly if we talk about infections and skin lesions, such as sclerotrophic lichen, for example. If there are any complaints in the area of sexual organs, if there are any changes, discharges, reddenings of urethra, you can consult venerologists and urologists of our paid medical center of Dermatoveneurologic Dispensary in Moscow. We have experienced specialists who do diagnostics and treatment of such diseases. We are waiting for you in our clinic. Please subscribe to our channels on YouTube and Instagram. Thank you for your attention.